Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I've got some leftover paints to use up, some really pretty colours. Um, whenever I do a Dutch pour, I scrape the worktop afterwards and I save whatever paint I can collect. I've got quite a few pots of collected paint now, so um, I've just had this idea of trying to use them all, or some of them, in a single painting. Um, there's quite a few pinky purpley colours, there's a sort of turquoisey colour. Um, I guess they're the colours that I use most in my pours, um, but I think they actually go quite well together. Um, so I'm going to do, I think maybe an explosive Dutch pour, some sort of Dutch pour, central, central blowout, I think. Um, so let me show you the colours. So these are all leftovers. These are all scraped. So some of them are pretty obvious what they are. That's, there's obviously some violet in there. This one is just beautiful. It's, it's um, almost like a dark burgundy. So I can't tell you exactly what went into this because I can't, I don't know. I can't remember which painting this was from. Um, this colour is definitely got some Venetian rose in it, um, but it's a slightly duller version. This one, I'm going to say it's grey, but I don't, I don't think it is. I think it's more like a very pale blue, some purpley colour and a beautiful, beautiful sparkly turquoise. So I'm most inspired by the combination of these three. Um, so I think I'm going to use those three, but then also add some of the purpley colours. Also add some bronze, which I think looks beautiful, and add some white, some pearl white. Um, everything is mixed to a Dutch pour consistency. So I'll put the recipe for that in the description of this video. I'm using a 40 centimetre canvas. I've, I've just drawn some diagonal lines so I can work out where the centre is. So the centre's there. So let's put some of this paint on. If I show you the consistency, it's nice and runny. When I store paint like this, um, th I mean, this is a couple of weeks old, this one, um, it's in a pot with a lid on, so it's, it's airtight. So sometimes it thickens up, and I think this is slightly thicker, but it doesn't really matter because it's all, it's all going to be the same, roughly the same consistency. So let's just pour a little bit in the centre. And then I'm going to go with some of the bronze. So I'm going to do a nice bronze line around there. So I'm just going to do lots of concentric circles. I don't need the colour to go right to the edge because it's going to be blown off over the edge. And because I'm going to blow this out with the hairdryer, it doesn't have to be totally symmetrical, totally perfect. Now, because these are all mixed colours, scrapings, they are all quite muted. They're all quite, um, they're, they're not very bright. Do you know, I'm going to go back in, I think, with, let's go with the turquoise again. I feel like I want more turquoise. So I normally paint with really bright colours. But when you mix all those bright colours together, you get much more muted colours. Right, I just want a little bit of colour on these corners, just not because it will show, but just so that the canvas is wet, so that it will glide over better. So I'm just going to go, I've got lots of this pinky colour, so I'm just going to put some of that on. And I'm just going to just, just spread it roughly with my finger, just so that the canvas is wet. And also along the edge because it will just help the colour just to flow over the edge.
Wow, love these colours. Right, so my idea is now to blow from the centre outwards. And so I'm hoping to see some rings of most of these colours when it's finished. Um, they will blend and they will muddy a little bit. So it will be interesting to see how this turns out. The white is lost, but what that ha what it does do is just almost highlight that turquoise. So I can see that it's underneath that turquoise there, but you've got every colour. So the burgundy, the bronze, turquoise, purple, pink, turquoise, burgundy. And also that pink that I put at the edges is showing because you've got quite pink corners still. Right, I'm going to torch it. <clears throat> Now, my only comment and my criticism at the moment is that I've got this lovely past this salmon pink at these corners, but not on these corners. So I'm wondering if I could actually just add a little bit of that colour just to make it look a bit more symmetrical. I might regret this. Let's try. Brilliant, that has worked. Let's try it all by that bit there, but let's let's try this corner. It's worked, I've got it. Just what an interesting, amazing colour combination it is. Um, it's it's just not me. It's I like my bright colours. This is totally different, but I think it really works. It's definitely tie-dye. It looks like tie-dye. Um, let me take you into the, show you the centre first. I think it just looks a bit like a galaxy in the centre or an exploding star. It's at the way the red goes over that bronze, the bronze cells just peek through. It is just so pretty. You can see how sparkly it is. And then I love all these little ripples of colour. The, the colours just ripple into the next band of colour. So pretty. But yeah, as I said, the white is lost, but you can see this, you can see where it is. It's, there's a hint of it in there. I'm happy with that corner now, finally, although there's an air bubble there. I need to get rid of that. And the purple. Such an interesting painting. I love the composition because I can be sure where the centre is. I can really get a pretty symmetrical painting. Great, I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry. It really reminds me um, of a, I was going to say a dartboard. It's not a dartboard, maybe an archery board um, and the bullseye in the centre. Um, it also reminds me a lot of tie-dye. It really looks like a tie-dyed t-shirt, tie-dyed fabric. Um, 
really happy with these colours. They're such unusual colours for me, especially this sort of pinky colour and the burgundy actually. But because they are leftovers, um, they've just, yeah, it's just a great combination together. I'm really happy with them. My favourite feature has to be this here, the bronze coming through that red. It's just glowing. It just looks so bright and, yeah, and yeah, lit up. Um, and then I love all these little wispy bits over the top of the, they blow over the top of the, the colour on the outside. Really happy with my pink corners. Um, yeah, overall, really, really pleased. So it just goes to show, just don't ever throw the paint away. Scrape your worktop and salvage whatever you can because you never know what you can use it for. So thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you like it, um, what you like, what you don't like. I'd love to hear from you. Great. Thanks for watching. Bye.